place might be right with you There's no limit to what we can do Tell me where you at, might be right with you Girl, I'm capable Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscriber right now. Let's just go straight with without hesitation. So Virgie Ortiz Jr. and Gerald both anus have reached over agreement on fight according to BoxingScene.com. So it goes right here. The mission to make fights when they arrive for the picking is fundamental pursuit of Saudi Arabia's Tokyo Lashe. And as he surveyed um, the sports riches division, one bout in particular was there for the making. The boss scene has learned that knockout machine Virgil Ortiz Jr. 22 wins, 21 kills, and IBF waterway title holder Jerome Boots, Anus 33 and all 29 not kills, have verbally agreed to fight for Ortiz WBC interim junior middleweight belt, according to an official familiar with the negotiations, but unauthorized to speak publicly on the matter because contracts are not signed yet. The official said the bout is being pegged for what was becoming a stacked February 22nd card in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. That would be epic. Now, let's go straight to right here with our brothers Adewale and Ty. Adewale, Jaron Booth Anis. Booth Anis. That guy is a special fighter. You know, um, Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz as well. How do you see this fight playing out? And February 22nd card is looking very stacked. If this fight is part of the, um, is placed on the card. But just looking at, because these are fights that could easily be uh, main pay-per-view, main events, basically. Be their own, be their own, have their own card, basically. Because these are huge names. If they are put in one card, that means we have uh, one of the best cards ever in boxing. What do you make of this fight right here? Potentially. Man, if this fight gets made, it's a great matchup. Both guys have been having this conversation for like three years. And it almost seems like Virgil Ortiz had problems with his career. When he always had injuries. Uh, one time he was diagnosed with rhabdo, very serious muscular deterioration condition. And all of a sudden he comes back in 2024 and he had three fights, three major fights, two knockouts and one majority decision against Boakchuk. The Boakchuk fights, in my opinion, he won down one by by a close shave. And the same thing can be said about Boots Ennis. Ennis too had three fights in 2024, I believe, or it might have been true, I might be wrong. And his last fight against the Ukrainian guy, um, Karen, Karen, the guy from Ukraine, that fight exposed some weaknesses, some holes in the skill set of Jaron Ennis. So it seems both guys might be beatable. And that even makes for a more entertaining fight. Now, Ennis is regarded as the best welterweight. So if this fight is made in January, it's going to be his first fight in junior middleweight division. On the other hand, Virgil Ortiz already had three or four fights in junior middleweight division. So he's accustomed to that weight class. And Jaron Ennis, in his weigh-ins, he usually comes in at 145 pounds. So it's a, it's a big jump, considering the fact that he would have to go about 9 pounds up to make that fight. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. 
But I'm not complaining. Don't get it wrong. I'm not complaining about the fight. It's it's better they make the fight right now. Both guys are young. Boxing is a young man's game. It's better as a young fighter. You fight, you fight it out. If you take a loss, it's all good. Make sure you come out protected. Protect yourself. And if you lose while you're young, you can still bounce back and have a great career. So I salute both guys if they take this fight. It's going to be very exciting. Um, I think it's going to go the distance. <laughs> I don't think either guy will knock either guy out. But I might be wrong. We might get a KO if that fight happens. And the reason why I say there might not be a knockout is that they are both high-level fighters. But now let's talk about their trainers. Jaron Ennis' dad. Um, I can't remember his name now. Both senior, whatever. I, I didn't really like his coaching in the last fight against Karen. He kept on... He was showing too much arrogance. You know, he believed too much in the hype that Boots was going to knock that guy out. But it was impossible. Sometimes you just have to make some proper adjustments and not look for the knockouts. Just wait for it to come. And at some point, it almost looked like Jaron was not listening to his dad, to his father's instructions. He almost got tired of him getting told to go for the knockout repeatedly and nothing was coming through. So that relationship is not in the best place, if you ask me. I'm talking about from a trainer fighter's perspective. If Jaron Ennis can get someone else in the corner, not just his dad, his dad can be a coach, but they need another coach and they have to have, in my opinion, this is all my opinion as a boxing fan, someone that likes Darren Ennis. They should have a structure in place in the corner where one guy will be the head coach. Maybe not necessarily both senior, it could be the other new coach. Because that relationship, that trainer relationship between Boots and his dad, it's looking a little bit weird and shaky in my opinion. So for that reason... Considering the weight disadvantage that Boots might have, being the first time he's fighting in 154, and considering the strain in the relationship between himself and his trainer, I might slightly favor Virgil Ortiz to come out victorious in a 12-round fight. But at the same time, Boots is very, very um, skilled. And the reason why he had problems with Karen is because Karen moves a lot, moves around the ring and knows how to use his legs. Ortiz, on the other hand, he knows how to move around the ring, but he's more of a forward fighter. He comes forward and engages you on the inside. Very skilled fighter as well. I believe his trainer is Robert Garcia. And Robert Garcia, of course, we all know the guy's pedigree. He has what it takes to come out victorious. So it's going to be a very, very interesting fight. If I'm going to predict, I think uh, uh, it's it's almost 50-50. You know, it's maybe I would say 52-48 in favor of Virgil Ortiz. And that's my prediction. Thanks, bro. I appreciate your take on your prediction. Um, uh, Jagwe, what do you make of this fight? Boots Ennis, special fighter. Virgil Ortiz, a special fighter. All right, bro. Uh, I agree with what, everything that uh, I did while I said, bro. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know what's up with Boots with his uh, last fight. Um, he, he completely, completely ignored what his dad said. And listen, man, the guy, I, I feel, I feel like if he's not locked in, for the 12 rounds and does and he throws some sloppy jabs well come on man we we all saw in 2024 we all saw what virgil did i mean those fights that he fought right were extremely entertaining but if boots ennis right cannot stay locked in for 12 rounds bro let's be honest the way he fought 
in his last fight was extremely disappointed. And I'm pretty sure every fan feels like this, that Virgil Ortiz is probably going to be the one taking it home. It might even knock out, uh, might even knock out Boots, man. Let's be honest. With the way with his last with the, with with the way Boots fought last performance, I mean he fought the same guy twice in a row. Listen, if you're not there to fight, okay, you fought you fought the same person twice in a row. Hey, there's no point in fighting him again if you know you don't want to fight him. If, if he's not even challenging, because at the end of the day, it's it's all about your stock, right? If you put on a shitty performance, you're gonna fight in a sh you're gonna fight shitty in your next fight. Okay, and f as far as I'm concerned, he looked bad. Okay, inconsistent jabs, getting hit, all these things that he was doing that didn't make sense. Right, Virgil Ortiz is gonna take advantage of that. It's gonna be a quick night. It's gonna be a long night, and it's gonna be a quick night for Boots. You know, so I do feel that it, the the if he doesn't listen to his dad and he's very inconsistent with what he does, he's gonna he's gonna. He's gonna definitely lose. Oh, can he beat uh, Virgil Ortiz? Uh, one, one, absolutely. If he stays locked in for twelve rounds, and I think he can stop Ortiz, but if he decides, hey, I'm gonna do things my way, and that's it. There's, there's absolutely no way he beats, um, he beats uh, Virgil Ortiz. There's, there, there, there's, there's the, there's the part where I'm only worried about if Ortiz keeps landing on him. Hey, Ortiz has some has some decent power, and I think he has a he has a, he has more punching power than 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 uh, Boots does. And if if Ortiz keeps landing, hey, <laughs> we might just see another um, another fight like a uh, 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 Bud versus this guy all over again. It's gonna be <laughs> Crawford Spence. <laughs> it's gonna be a bad night, and people are gonna cry. That's why I'm gonna end it, bro. Thanks, bro. I appreciate your take on this. Um, stay tuned, guys, for more exclusive bangers right here. God bless you all. Cheers. <laughs>